Hello, hello, this is Father Adam greeting you with a big smile, lots of love, and some good news that I know you can use. My whole childhood was marked by this immense pain, this feeling of abandonment, because my mother left me in Poland to come to the United States when I was a little boy. And people would tell me, but your mom is going to send you candy. You have all these toys. You're going to have a television finally. She's going to get you a bicycle with all the money she's going to make in the United States. But nothing would comfort me. Nothing would calm me down. The only thing that would bring some peace into my restlessness was my mother's picture, which I carried around with me everywhere. Even at school, I took it out all the time when I was in classes and I would look at my mom's picture and it would bring me a sense of comfort. It would bring her presence. I didn't want anything I wanted my mom. You know, the Bible makes it clear that even though a mother is capable of leaving her children behind, God will never leave us behind. You are not left behind. I felt left behind, but I wasn't left behind by the greatest mother of all, God, who isn't just our father, he's also our mother. God is with you. You are not alone. You know, the disciples, 48 hours after the resurrection, are all huddled together in great fear. And they're all enclosed in a room and they're paralyzed by the pain of abandonment because they feel left behind as we so often do in our life. And Jesus comes in their midst and they have no questions. They're not focused on the fact that they all betrayed him, that they left him behind. All they're focused on is that Jesus is in their midst. And if Jesus is in their midst, everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be fine. Jesus is in our midst. And you know how I know that Jesus is in your midst? Because I am in your midst. I am bringing his presence to you right now. For I am his body. Jesus is speaking through me right now, allowing you to be comforted. How many people tell me, Father, you know, when I have this bad day or these bad, paralyzing, depressing, anxious feelings come over me and I'm worried and I'm all my problems weigh me down and, and my sufferings, I just think of your beautiful face and the hello, hello. And... It lifts me up. That's what my mom's picture did to me. In my own pain and abandonment. When I was growing up. And that's what I hope to be for you. That's how I pray each and every day. I just sit there. And I focus on the fact that Jesus is with me that I'm not alone, that I will be okay, that everything is going to be okay, that God is with me, that I'm okay, and you are okay. That is the gift of peace. Jesus comes in their midst and says, peace be with you. That's what I want to tell you right now. Peace be with you. You are not alone. Look at my picture.
Hello, hello. As I look at my mom's picture, you know, to this very day, I carry my mom's picture in my wallet right here. And I just take it out. And I know that I have a mom. And the love of a mother is so wonderful that even God wanted to have a mother. And I just not only have my own mom, but I have God, my mommy, who's always with me. And that same God is with you. Everything is going to be okay. I wouldn't be able to fall asleep if it wasn't for my mom's picture. I'd look at all these pictures. This is my mom right here. And that's me when we were still in Poland. And then this is my mom right here in front of our house in Poland. That's my brother. And that's me right there, the little blonde boy. <laughs> Everything is going to be okay. If God is with us, who can be against us? As I bless you today and always with a big smile, a big kiss and a hello, hello. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mwah.